Hey YouTube, it's your girl Cindy and I'm back with another video and this one is going to be my top 4 tips on anyone thinking or planning to transfer from a UC to another UC. Okay, if you clicked on this video you probably already know what a UC is, otherwise I don't know why you're here. Hi, hello, welcome to my channel, no, don't forget to subscribe, but this video is going to be my personal experience and me giving you 4 tips that I think are really important for anyone who's thinking about or planning to transfer from a University of California university to another University of California university. <laughs> So at the time I uploaded this video, I also uploaded my personal experience video explaining to you all why I transferred from UCSD to UCLA. That's a question I get all the time from my college vlogs on Infinitely Vlog, and I'll have that link down below if you want to check out my college vlogs and just get more, you know, a better feel for my college experience at UCSD and UCLA. But I did that video talking about my reasons and my personal experience on transferring, and now I'm going to give you four tips for anyone who might be in my position, who might be at any UC and wants to transfer to another UC. Very important disclaimer, I am not an admissions counselor, admission guide, um, I am not psychic or anything like that. These are four tips that I'm giving you completely based on my personal experience personal research I did, as well as my yeah, personal experience of transferring and applying and all that jazz. So just because you follow these tips or take these four tips into consideration does not you know, mean you're automatically going to get in. Like, no, I mean, I wish you the best of luck, but um, these are just tips that I have. They're not, they're not perfect. Uh, I hope they work out though. Like, that's why I'm showing them. <laughs> all right, let's go and get started. The first tip I have is you will have to write essays in your application and it's going to ask you why do you want to transfer? And for this you have to have a legitimate reason for wanting to transfer. Again, again, I talked about this in my other video about you know the reasons why and I straight up told them a couple of the reasons and that's really important is that you have to tell this university why you feel you would be better and you would benefit their university and their university would benefit you if you were to transfer. Now this is super important because UCs give priority to community college students in the state of California because we are like UCs are public school and they are they have to give priority to students who have now finished community college and don't have a place to go. They have to get accepted to a four-year university to continue their education as opposed to you know you're already at a UC, you're already at a four-year institution like, okay, well, why do you want to come to ours? You're already, at, you're already out of school, you know? So that's why having that legitimate reason is super important. Over 92% of the enrolling class for last year, they were from community colleges. And then let me see, for other UCs, it was only 4%. So that's only 121 students out of over 3,000 students are from other UCs. So it's a very, very small proportion of the incoming class, so you want to make sure you have a good reason. Saying, hey, yeah, prestige, <laughs> woo, that's not going to be good enough. Like, you have to have legit reason, whether it be finances, whether it be only closer to home, whether it be your major, whether it be, like, career aspirations, location, whatever it may be, you have to have a reason. And you have to provide it, because they're going to ask you about it in an essay. So make sure you think about that, because that is really important. The second tip I have for you is... Uh, <laughs> The UC deadline, yeah, it comes real fast. It comes real early in the quarter um, or semester if you're from Berkeley. But um, yeah, the application is due November 30th. So you have to know at least, you know, when you're going into your second year that, all right, I think I want to transfer because the application is literally due before the end of winter quarter. So you really have to get all this not only like get your story straight and you know get your priorities and just get everything figured out but you have to finish applying by November 30th so definitely keep that in mind and that's why I'm uploading this in summer hopefully people who are interested just get a start on it because it's college applications all over again <laughs> the third tip I have is do your research doing your research is so important now you have to do your research about a lot of different things you have to do research on the transfer requirements for the university you're applying for, so the UC, so for example UCLA, UC Merced, UC Davis, whatever UC you're trying to transfer to. Um, the second thing is for your college. Very, very important. So for UCSD, there's six colleges. You have to figure out which one you're trying to transfer into and what their requirements are. For like UCLA, it's more simple. It's like College of Letters and Sciences, College of Engineering, College of Nursing, whatever it is, you know, College of Film and like broadcast. So you have to know, you have to do your research and see which university you want to go to, but then within that, which college you're applying to, and you have to look at those requirements. And then, under that, you have to look at your major. 
majors are going to have specific transfer requirements because if you're not caught up to date with the requirements you need to graduate, they're most likely not going to accept you. So that's really, really important is making sure you do your research and knowing exactly what classes you need to have already taken, what, you know, requirements there are and how you are going to satisfy them before you transfer. That's very, very important. You don't have to get it all done by the time you submit the application, but you must have all of that done before you would join um, or transfer to the institution you're applying to. That makes sense. <laughs> A lot of people forget about remember, There's three steps, university, college, and major. So you want to make sure you look at that. And even minor, if you're trying to, you know, also pick up a minor later, but that's a whole different story. And then the last thing, the last tip, number four, I think is the most important, and it's such an advantage, and that is getting, I'm going to butcher this, the UC letter of reciprocity, 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 sure, clearly I can't say this word, never heard of it before, but I was talking to some counselors and they're like, oh yeah, make sure you do this. I was like, why? Because it's basically a letter that states, if you have, or like a policy, that states if you finish all of the GEs, the general education courses and requirements at your current UC and you transfer, you don't have to do any of the GEs at the new school. And that is so, so, so important. So for me, I went to UCSD and I took, and to satisfy the science requirement in Muir College, I took a, a class called Study of Humans in the Wilderness. It was great. I love that class. It was, it was amazing. Definitely recommend it. Um, but I don't think that credit would transfer over as a science credit. It'd probably transfer over as an elective credit at UCLA. Like, they're gonna be like, study of the wilderness. Like, that sounds like, yeah, an elective. Doesn't sound like a science course. Like, that's not bio, chem, physics, whatever it is that you're taking. So that's super important is that even though UCs are UCs, and they'll transfer all your credits, you'll get credits for everything, but it might not satisfy requirements, and that could put you behind. I have to take classes that you never were planning on taking. So for example, UCLA, the school I transferred to, has a language requirement. I did not do any language, and so at UCSD, I wouldn't have anything transfer over to help me fulfill that those GEs, and I'd have to do all of those in, this, in the two years I've left, along with anything else I might have missed. And so it's just, it's just different because every single UC has different GEs. So it's very, very crucial that you, tr you finish, not try to, you finish all your general education requirements from the university you're at. So then when you transfer, you don't have to do squat of the new one. Like I didn't have to do any foreign language. I didn't have to do any math or anything when I got to UCLA because I finished all my requirements at UCSD which were different. I didn't have to do any math at UCSD. I didn't have to do any foreign language. Um, so yeah, they're very, very different. So you want to make sure you get that UC letter of reciprocity. All right, I know I spent a lot of time on that last point, but like that's super important. That was like, whoa, I'm making sure I get all my um, GEs out of the way. So that's really important because then you can focus on your major. You can focus on, you know, transferring because it is a big like culture shock and change as well as just having fun and enjoying the fact that you transfer to, you know, the university for whatever reason you wanted to. I really hope these tips were helpful. Again, I'm not an admissions counselor. This is not like a one-way ticket to transferring, but I do hope that these tips will help you out in your adventure and journey to transfer. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will do my best to answer them. If you want to learn more about my experience, go ahead and check out my other video. I'll have that link down below. Also, check out my vlog channel. Again, if you want to see more about my, or like, feel more of my college experience through my vlogs. But all right, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful, and I will talk to you all in a future video. Bye.